Welcome back to Living 808. It is summer, and that means lots of time will be spent around the pool or at the beach. Now, while those places can be a lot of fun, it can also be dangerous. So we are getting some water safety tips today from the president of Liahi Swim School, Ben Comer. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, this seems kind of obvious, but let me ask you this. You know, why is water safety so important for our kids? Well, we live in Hawaii, the best place on earth for water sports, and it's just one of those things that you need to know how to do to just stay safe in the water. Absolutely. Um, you know, we are surrounded by water, like you said, and I remember when my kids were little, you know, you would go and meet friends at the pool, you'd go and meet them at the beach, and it, you just feel, as a parent, so much better when you know that your kids know what to do in case of an emergency or, you know, that they're comfortable around the water and, and they know how to swim. It is. It's a great thing to know how to do it. It gives a parent a peace of mind. But we always say never take your eyes off your child in the water. And just because they know how to swim doesn't mean they're completely safe. And there's that common misno uh, misnomer about, oh, my child's drown proof. There's no such thing as drown proofing. Anyone can drown. Absolutely. Yeah. Adults, right? It only takes mm -hmm. a few minutes. Um, so what are some good uh, tips for parents and caregivers when it comes to safety? First and foremost, learn how to swim. Take swim lessons and, uh, you know, just get that skill down. Next thing is uh, never swim alone and never let your child swim alone or unattended. Always have someone watching, a lifeguard, uh, another parent, uh, someone who knows how to swim or, or a, a former lifeguard. Uh, we call it a water watcher, so someone who is designated only to watch kids swimming. Um, so say you're at a party or a, like a house party and someone's like, I thought you were watching. And they go, well, I thought he was watching. And, and it kind of just comes back around and everyone thought someone else was watching. Mm. So if you designate someone like, hey, you're going to be the water watcher for the next 15 minutes. And your job is just to watch the kids or anyone in the pool. And if someone starts talking to you, say, hey, I can't talk right now. I'm, I'm watching the kids. And then in 15 minutes, hand it off to someone else. So there's always one person designated to watch. That is a great tip. And I don't think I've ever really heard that before out of all of my years of interviewing people about this. Uh, but it's so true. You know, a lot of homes in Hawaii have pools. And you go for barbecues and potlucks. And you're right. You know, people are having cocktails or talking with their friends and a lot of times you're not really watching the children in yeah. the pool so that's a that's a great tip uh, what are some good in water skills that can keep kids safe um, one of the things is uh, life jackets so uh, we don't promote life jackets at our swim school but if you're at the beach or on a boat uh, life jackets are definitely a plus um, but again it's, it's just kind of like that extra little piece to give you a peace of mind to 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 get you that extra couple of seconds to get to your child if something does happen. Mm -hmm. um, but we always say, learn how to swim. And the thing about life jackets is, say you're, you're relying on that, then it becomes a crutch. And then we see a lot of kids that come to our swim school and they go, oh yeah, my kid's been in a life jacket and they can swim. It's like, with the life jacket on. It's promoting bad body position. Mm. So if they actually want to learn formal swimming, then we have to kind of break that, that mindset of, oh, I'm vertical. Because in, when you're swimming, you're horizontal. And um, it's also, uh, it's just a, yeah, we just don't, we just it's don't kind of yeah. like a false sense of security, exactly. too, yeah. for kids, yeah. right? For parents and for kids. Yeah. Thank um, you. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. no, we did see some video there, and that is, of course, of Liahi Swim School. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about that because both of my kids actually went through your program, oh, I so I'm, yeah. I'm a huge fan. Um, but you guys have been around for how long? 45 years. My mother started Liahi Swim School in 1974 at La Pietra Hawaii School for Girls. And over the last 45 years, we've grown. So now we have three locations, uh, one at St. Francis School in Manoa, one at the Momilani Community Center in Pearl City, mm -hmm. and our newest location at the Kapolei Lofts in Kapolei. Okay, that's terrific. And what ages do you um, take kids from? We start at six months old. So from six months old to three years old, they're in the water with their parent, and we call that the parent aid class. And then after they reach three, they go into the water on their own and start learning the formal swimming strokes, and we go all the way up to adults. Okay, it's great. I mean, I have such fond memories. I, w I did the class where I was in the water with the kids, mm -hmm. and we still sing that song, Dip Your Cheeks, mm -hmm. Dip Your Cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> That's the liahi way, because you're yeah. just getting the kids comfortable with water, exactly. and then as they get older, you're teaching them to swim. But, exactly. um, it, you know, so like you said, we're, we're on an island. You know, learning to swim is, is so important. It's crucial. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll have your website on our website so yep. that people know um, how to get in touch with you guys if they want to take classes. I'm guessing you guys have lots of classes during the summer? Yep, every day, six, uh, six days a week at our Manoa location, seven days a week in Pearl City, 
and just the weekend at the Kapolei Lofts. Okay, perfect. Ben, thank you so much. And uh, Liahi Swim School, uh, three locations. We'll have all of the information on our thank website. You. Coming up on Living 808.